Hello, I'm John Melville from Vernier Software and Technology. I'm the resident physiologist at Vernier, and I want to show you this device here, which is called a goniometer. This is really just an angle sensor or a joint angle sensor. It has a little movable knob right here, and as it moves, it will report the angle that it's moving at. Now, for human anatomy and physiology, you would use this device to measure the angle of, say, your elbow as it's moving, or the angle of your knee. But you can also use it in a variety of other STEM activities because this movement arm and this static arm can be removed, and this device right here, the sensor head, can be attached to almost anything you need to. I'm just going to show you very quickly how to set the goniometer up and how to record some data. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to plug it into this LabQuest 2. And you can see that it's automatically identified as a goniometer. It's going to be measuring an angle. And I'm just going to calibrate it here really quickly. I'm going to center this and make sure that the device is fully at 180 degrees so that it's all straight here in a line. You should be able to see a little pin right here. And I'm going to make sure that that pin is right next to this little pin on the device. And then I'm just going to tap here on the meter screen of this LabQuest. And I'm just going to say calibrate. And I'm going to use a one point calibration because I know that this is at 180 degrees. So I'm just going to select one point calibration. And then I'm going to select calibrate now. And then I'm just going to tell the device, well, I know this is 180 degrees. So I'm going to type in 180. And then I'm going to tap on the keep button. And then I'm just going to say, OK. And now you can see it's right at 180 degrees. If I rotate it this way, it goes towards 360. If I rotate it back the other way, it goes you know, lower, towards 90. So if you're using this in a human anatomy and physiology application, it'd be nice if you could just have it report either a positive angle for flexion or a negative angle as your arm is moving away. And you can actually do that quite easily with LabQuest or Logger Pro by just what we call zeroing the sensor. So I'm going to hold this out at 180 degrees again. I'm going to tap on the meter screen. And I'm going to zero the goniometer. So now it's reading zero degrees. And now if I bring it this way, that's positive. If I bring it back down to where it was at 180 and I go farther, it's negative. Now another important feature is, let's say this was on my right arm. Right now this is oriented to be on my left arm. Well, if it's on my right arm, I can just reverse the sign of those two angles just by selecting here once again on the meter screen and just saying reverse. And all I'm doing is just reversing the direction. So now if I select reverse, now as I go up, now it's a negative, and then that would be positive. And those are all the key features of the goniometer. You can use it to measure a static angle. So that's a right around 90 degrees. Or another static angle, about 100 degrees. Or we can actually use it to measure a dynamic process. What a dynamic process would be is, let's measure the angle while I'm doing an activity, like moving my elbow, moving my arm up and down. To do that, though, I'm actually going to need to use some straps. These straps right here are elastic, and they're designed to go through the slots here on the goniometer. If you're going to be attaching this to your forearm, you should slide them through this slot here and this slot, whereas if you're going to attach this to your leg, you need a little bit more room, so I would attach these elastic bands through this slot and this slot. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to thread these elastic bands through here and then attach it to my forearm. So now I have the goniometer attached to my forearm. And you can see that it's going to show me the angle that my elbow is at as I move it up and down. Now the reason why this is actually quite interesting is because a lot of people are interested in what we call muscle function analysis. And muscles can only contract. 
So when the bicep contracts, that's what causes the forearm to go up. You then have activity from the tricep, which causes the forearm to go back down. Now I can record both of those events using this LabQuest 2, a goniometer, and this EKG sensor. And what we'll be able to see is as I lift a barbell, this barbell, with my left hand, we should see that as I flex, there's more muscle activity as the angle gets larger, and then as I relax, there should be less muscle activity. So why don't I just show that to you really quickly here. So I'm on the count of three, I'm going to begin to hit data collection, and then I'm going to lift this barbell with my left hand. So here we go. So I'm holding it here, and and now I'm going to relax. And now, as you can clearly see on this trace, as the angle goes up, that's my forearm flexing, you can see an increase in muscle activity. And then as my arm goes back to rest, you can see a decrease in bicep activity. And if I were to have recorded the tricep at the same time, we would see the opposite phase of activity, where I would see an increase in activity during the falling phase and not as much activity in the rising phase. And you can do all sorts of really interesting experiments, because if you think of it, as I'm holding this weight, if I were recording my forearm, my forearm muscles would be active during the whole phase. Um, and this is just one of the really interesting things about using the goniometer in anatomy and physiology experiments. So for more information on the goniometer and how to measure joint angles, or the EKG sensor, and how to record EMGs, just go to our website, www.vernier.com.